All right, <clears throat> we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna share some wisdom. Yeah, those are the bucket locks. And so what are we gonna talk about, right? We have this machine right here, customer asked us to go ahead and grease it. And as you can tell, there's a grease fitting there. There are grease fitting uh, there, right there. So what happens is <clears throat> Sometimes they won't take grease and you got to replace the fitting. And this right here is more of my point of view. You can whip out your snap-on ratchet, your snap-on sockets, and you can get that, that fitting out. And if it breaks, you can get your extraction set and get that fitting out. Or you can use one of these. <laughs> oh, look at that. Yes, sir. Extraction on one side, tapping on the other side socket uh, box and open end for the 90 degree fittings the 45 degree fittings and the good thing about these is when you go back with it you know you're getting close to over tightening it or you know if you cross thread it because it gets real tight if you have a 3 8 even a quarter inch hand ratchet um, you can screw up the threads and you can't put metal where there's no metal left you know what I'm saying so uh, they make them in different sizes there's that one uh, there's this bigger one. They make them for every size fitting. And I have, I used to have four of them. They're made by Lincoln. I'm pretty sure other people make them. <clears throat> now, here's the best part about these, okay? You're working on grease fittings, whatever, you're done, and you leave. If you leave your snap-on ratchet, quarter inch, what is that? 90, anywhere from $80 to $120, depending on which one you got, plus the socket which is what, anywhere from 15 to 25. <clears throat> Those don't cost that much. And I'm not gonna lose no sleep over it. And I've done it. I've left Mac, Matco, cause it's late at night, you're on a construction site, you, you've, been, you've been running field service since five in the morning, and now it's already 9.30 at night, you're wore out, this is the last unit, and, it, and, and it's dark. And in a rush to leave, you forget your tools. Let me tell you, if you, if you, if you forget those, you, you're not going to lose that much money. You leave your ratchet in your socket. God forbid you take the whole socket rail out and you leave the socket rail. Done it myself. You just lost $300 to $350 worth of tools when you could have just had one of these to do the, the grease fittings. And if it falls somewhere, like if you're working on a dozer, and if it falls down, down in that ugly belly pan, screw it, leave it there. You know, if it's your, your snap-on ratchet, oh my God, you gotta drop belly pans. And anybody that's ever done a dozer, a track loader, wheel, uh, uh, you know, track loader, dozers, even excavators, some of them belly pans, well, I'll tell you what, mm -mm. I've seen a few guys make the mistake of holding the belly pan up with their knee when they do the last bolt. And, uh, yep, 911, someone, someone get him out here because he done screwed up his knee. Or he popped joints and wedged the, the... Anyway, I'm getting off track. That's a whole different scenario. Hey, let me know if you want to hear about those stories. Anyway, hey, thanks for watching. Hey, grease feeding tool. Everyone should have one. These guys saw me whip these out and they didn't know what they were. They were in shock. Whipper snappers. Thanks.